day of the week, School of the Week, because we get to learn about our School of the Week. That's right. Since the beginning of the school year, second graders at Hubbard Elementary have been hatching up quite a special project. Our morning reporter, Freeha Brad, got to check out how that project has come to life. Welcome to the Hubbard Hatchery, a year-long project coming to fruition just before school's out. This is actually our first year doing the hatchery. Um, we've incubated eggs in our room before, but this is the first time we've had a chicken coop. Thanks to Miss Heather Smith. Um, I've been at Hubbard Elementary for 15 years and I teach second grade. This is a STEM project and it has our kids' passion sprouting like every leaf of lettuce that they grow for the chickens. I just love that they get so excited about it and they want to go home and share it with their families. A lot of them have been able to get their own coops this year just um, through this whole process and the parents have not thought about getting a coop before and they just were so excited that they got their parents excited about it. Raise your hand if you raise chickens at home. Just how much they've loved it and how much they've learned about chickens. They really are experts on chickens now. These are all hens. You can tell because they have a little mohawk and short tail feathers, and they're very little. Um, if it's really stressed out, like I decide not to pick it up, but if it's really calm, I like to pick them up. They really like um, getting to bring the eggs in, get to see them as they first hatch, um, getting just to watch the whole process. And now um, our chickens are fully grown and laying their own eggs, so they get, they get to see it come full circle. First we have the egg, and then we have the hatchling, and then we have the chick, and then we have the chicken. <laughs> His name's Brownie. This is Sprinkles, I'm pretty sure. Um, this one's Oreo. And they're all birds of the same feather flocking together. We are Hubbard Elementary, and we are the School of the Week. Reporting in Monroe County, Fadi Hubbard, 13 WMAZ News. Oh, what a fun project <laughs> for them. Congratulations, Hubbard Elementary, on being our School of the Week. Hey, summer's almost here, which means school is almost out. If you want your school featured, email news at 13wmaz.com. Again, that's news at 13wmaz.com.